So what were you saying about the portages again? I might as well just assume that we've got a doozy every couple hours. Well, in general, we have 68 kilometers of portaging. Yeah. Not including walking up the Big East. Because we're, it's August and the water levels are going to be low. So, yeah. Currently, we're on the 3.8 kilometer portage. I'm pretty sure we skipped some of it by paddling through a little pool, but the portage is more just, it's a road that exits off Highway 60. Coming to you live from Lake of Bays. It is busy and cottagey as expected, and we're just coming up to what is known as the North Portage. All right, so we made it to Boston Pizza in Huntsville. The current on the Big East got strong enough that the amount of effort that we were putting into paddling, we were barely making any ground. Welcome to the Big East. We got you another portage. This one's a lot nicer than any other one we had yet. Another nice waterfall. But holy smokes, the whole stretch up here is waterfalls. So like we've got a lot of hiking to do up the shoreline. It's probably waterfalls the entire way from here to the lake, which we know is like just under a kilometer. So it's, it's gonna be a slow section here. At the end of all of the waterfalls, there is a dam. I don't know if we would have been able to find a line to line up here, eh? We don't know we're gonna sleep yet. This lake's not looking too good. Maybe you can just make a bed out of these lily pads. So it's sections like this that really make it difficult to get an 18 foot canoe through the forest. Let's get just pushing it out of it. So we're at the head of Finland Sun Lake. We knew there was a portage of some sort going up to Ukraine, leaving the Big East. We come around the corner and we see this glowing sign with an aura around it, just with like the angels singing in the background. An actual portage. Marked out to the meter, which means it must be somewhat accurate. We just finished our 1.8 kilometer portage leaving McCraney Lake into Rain Lake, and we knew. Randy from Algonquin Outfitters set us up with a food drop and lo and behold, we come to the end and here she is, it's like a pinata. Currently en route to Big Bob from Tim Lake on Portage. Number 16. We made it to Big Bob. We made it to the Nip River. Where's the river? That's a good question. So this is the other big variable we didn't know about this route is the condition of the Nipissing River. <laughs> Rumor has it that it will be relatively dried up and overgrown with alders. So we've just been bushwhacking through all these overgrown alders on the nip. And she is thick. Last night, Noah and I were heading down the Nipissing River 
We thought we were close to a campsite, but as it turns out, we weren't as close as we thought. With the amount of light that we had left in the day, we were kind of forced to pull over here. We were both basically freezing last night because we were already soaked from all the alders and the rain that we had gone through. So we had to pull up here and just sleep on this grassy patch. Alright, so we found a cabin near the junction going in, like the Gibson Lake Junction. This is pretty cool. So the tent was a little bit wet yesterday after sleeping on that grass patch and having it rain while we were actually taking the tent down. So we've got the fly hanging and the actual tent last night we had to rub down with a towel in order to get it dry. But it wasn't too bad to sleep in last night and hopefully it's dry again for tonight. The Brent Store, Algonquin Outfitters, our most northern point on the meanest link. Catfish? Yeah. <laughs> no way! This route used to be used as a logging route, and you can see the remnants of all of these old logs that didn't fully make it down. We just finished the 2.4 kilometer portage. We crossed this creek. And now we have a 1.2 kilometer portage. We're just making our way up the Crow River. Finished the large portages. And now we're in the slew of little pepper and salt. Little 45s, little 10s, little 110s. And it's all just making our way up little sets of rapids. So we're on Lake Lavelle on an island near the northern shore. And we're here for a special reason. The route that we're doing, known as the Minas Link, was a tribute to a fellow named Swifty, also known as the Mean Dude. And Lake Lavelle, it was his favorite lake, and this was his favorite campsite to stay on. Nothing like getting to a portage at 7.40 at night and having 43 kilometers under your belt already. You might as well do a five kilometer portage. We're just having a little ice cream before we head out to our portage. 
Hopefully this preps us for a nice 3.5 kilometer portage. We are currently on the three kilometer portage between Lake Obiango and Spruill Lake. So we've hit a bit of a rough patch on a portage. Just crossing Highway 60, acting casual. We are on Lake of Two Rivers, making our way to Tanamacoon. So we just did our first 50 meter portage going up the Madawaska River on our way to Cache Lake. Going on. We're just on the 190 meter portage, walking our way up river a little bit to find ourselves a spot to set up our 8x8 tent tonight. That's all we really need. Is a spot big enough to put our tent. Semi flat. Semi flat. Doesn't have to be fully flat. Not fully. We're not greedy. Is this home? I like it, almost build a little barrier from the road. From moose. And from moose, so that they know. We just love camping on the porch out. It's, it's a new thing to do. It's a lifestyle. And just disclaimer to everyone, we, we did get permits. We just haven't been able to get to our campsites every night. <laughs> they were ambitious goals. So instead of doing that and taking up someone else's spot, we'd be staying on portages. halfway through we did uh, Wendigo, Shade, Seven Rivers and here we are now. Can you go watch oh it's, it's so awesome. cool. <laughs> we had to like start building our own so we built this and we had a couple people take some shot like some shop classes to learn what to learn do from him and then we've been passing it down pretty much for like four or five years. It's awesome. back to the Oxtongue River. We just left Tea Lake and portaged around the dam. Last portage. My back's still humming though. We were trying to make it to the very end tonight, but we decided to camp. We're about five kilometers away from the end. And we figured this would be a much nicer last night for Noah in Ontario before he has to fly back to Halifax.